a uh, big change inside the U.S. Capitol building. The unofficial Senate dress code is no more, and some lawmakers are certainly not happy about that. And most Republicans are urging Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to keep the dress code in place, saying it's a matter of respect. Well, WBZ political analyst John Keller ran that by two local experts on business etiquette. This is the first and last time I'm ever going to get to walk down a catwalk. Pennsylvania Senator John Fetterman admits he's not a fashion plate. Gym shorts, sneakers, and hoodies are his typical workday attire. And Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer's decision to end enforcement of the unwritten Senate dress code, barring such get-ups, is drawing fire from an array of Republicans. We need to be lifting up our standards in this country, not dumbing down our standards in this country. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell seemed more inclined to shrug it off. So I can't imagine that we're going to be uh, wearing jeans on the Senate floor anytime soon. But partisan sniping aside, we wondered, do business etiquette With experts Senators think the critics have Sanders. a point? The way that we dress impacts the way other people perceive us. And Jody I'm Smith of Marblehead's Manor Smith Etiquette Consulting says Schumer may be bucking a trend back to more formal work attire. We are now hopefully on the cusp at the end of this pandemic. And if you go to stores, whether that's a brick and mortar store or on, on websites, you will see that jackets and suits are starting to come back in again. The way in which one dresses inspires confidence or it does not. It, and it, while Roseanne Thomas of Boston's protocol advisors frowns on the idea of them. shorts on the Senate floor, she also notes... People are can be individuals, and I think of uh, President Zelensky of Ukraine and, and how the way in which he dresses inspires confidence in the people who support the country. Hmm. So, any indication Fetterman will actually try to wear the shorts and the hoodie on the Senate floor? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, he's a little bit of an odd duck. Let's stipulate that. Yeah. But I, I suspect this whole thing's kind of a trolling operation by Schumer and Fetterman. Yeah, Fetterman was already on Twitter or X or whatever it's called, uh, uh, taunting the Republicans on this issue. So, uh, look, the, the bottom line is, if the critics are right, and uh, allowing uh, a relaxation of the dress code damages respect for Congress among the public. Mm -hmm. My question is, how much lower can that go? It's was, already in the basement. I was going to say, Can't is there that. any respect left to damage? Yeah. And uh, I think to most of our viewers, I'm betting, and most Americans, hearing about this issue is... Uh, a head shaker. Like, really? What are they wasting their time on? Kind of beside the point. We're not asking anybody to wear a powdered wig here. Or a tan know. suit. <laughs> That's always been controversial. I mean, Susan Collins, the senator from Maine, she came out and said, well, under these new rules, I could wear a bikini on the floor. Wow. All right. We'll see if somebody tries that. Uh, yeah, please. I'm begging them, don't. <laughs> please don't. John Thanks, Keller, John. thank you.